this man retrieved a bear cub that had lost its mother. After being rescued and raised, it became intelligent and became the man's exclusive bodyguard and best man. Positive Energy Rescue A little bear Sporadic Repay the kindness Goodness Touching Warmth The man accidentally rescued a bear cub who grew up to be his loyal bodyguard. It is said that everything is full of emotions. Not only humans, but many animals also have human feelings, so many people like to keep pets for comfort. However, many people have raised dogs and cats, but never have had bears. Because in everyone's impression, bears are ferocious animals that will bring danger to human beings. But when bears develop an emotional bond with humans, they can also become family. American zoologist Kai Shandizen found a dead female bear in a bear sanctuary one day in January 2002. The mother bear was accompanied by two cubs. If they continued like this, they would surely die. Kaishi was determined to raise the two newborn bear cubs. She didn't expect the incredible friendship she and the bears developed. Despite Kaishi's efforts, there was only one cub left in the end. She named the little bear Lantasi. It took Kaishi as its parent. Kaishi had a lot of experience as an animal trainer. She was committed to raising Lantasi as a member of society rather than a wild killing machine. It could still be called a miracle, although it was not certain that this relationship could be established between a normal man and a normal bear, right? Day after day, the bond between Bulutasi and Kaishi deepened. Their relationship had been changing until they became friends. There was a relationship of trust between them that could not be expressed in words. Lantasi was a member of the family, which meant that Lantasi attended Kaishi's wedding. After Kaishi got married, their relationship didn't change either. Kaishi and Lantasi would go out fishing, go to the forest or go to the swimming pool together when they needed each other. While their relationship seemed dangerous, they were harmonious, making it feel like they were living together for granted. Sometimes people and animals met miraculously and developed miraculous relationships. Lantasi had not received wild training from the female bear and was completely wary of humans as it had been living with humans. Now, Lantasi lives with Kaishi in the bear protection base set up by Kaishi. Animals and humans have personalities, and they rarely get along very well, it's a special case after all. Bears and humans rarely build such friendship, so even if you see wild bear cubs, don't keep them lightly. It's better to leave it to a professional animal protection organization. No matter how ferocious animals are, they can be domesticated by humans, and even bring more beautiful feelings to humans. The Coast Avenue restaurant in Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, had a special guest. A white pelican named Awe was rescued by a restaurant owner and his son when it nearly died overseas last February. Originally, it was a wild pelican, but it was very close to the shopkeepers. It made customers happy every day it went to the store. This restaurant had a unique regular who visited at least three times a day. It was Awe. The restaurant's owner, Ali, and his son, Aomer, spotted it while out fishing in February. Awe, who was floating at sea at the time, was said to be bleeding from an injured foot and had a part of its wing peeled off, covering its body with mud and looking badly injured. Later they learned that it seemed to be still having a fever at the time. Aomer liked animals very much and immediately started to rescue Awe. He contacted the local Wildlife Rehabilitation Rescue Group. With the help of the group, Aomer decided to temporarily take care of Awe with his father until it recovered. Awe became the mascot at the restaurant. For the past six months, it had been eating fresh fish every day in the restaurant and had slowly recovered. Now, it will throw the fish it doesn't like to the floor willfully. But it's close to Aomer. 
worked as Awe, who usually lives in Fisherman's Bay a few meters away from the restaurant, do it for gratitude or for food? Awe seemed to have played a role in the thriving business in the store. Many customers visited the store because of Awe's cute appearance. One day, a local reporter saw Awe while they were eating. He filmed it and shared it on Twitter. Later, Awe received the attention of local media. Lebanon, which suffered the worst economic crisis last year, was in dire straits. Coupled with the epidemic and social unrest, Beirut's economy was struggling. In this situation, Awe's presence warmed people's hearts and brought little hope. But Ali and Aylmer, while happy, were also worried. Awe was in the spotlight, but it's still recovering and they didn't want to stress it out. Awe was not a pet like dog and cat, but a wild pelican, so most of the guests understood and didn't touch it. The fishermen and we loved Awe and fed it often. Everyone was protecting Awe. Okay, that's today's story. If you like it, please click to subscribe, like and comment. We will continue to tell you more touching stories of animals, so see you next time.